Hi girls, good afternoon and welcome back to the class. Right now we have social studies and we have the fifth lesson of succeeding empires. We're still in the unit of the ancient history. And uh, during this lesson, we are going to learn about new empires and more empires in the ancient history of our world. Now we took first the Phoenician empire and we said that those people, they were people who lived in the, uh, in the near areas of the Mediterranean Sea. They were people who uh, studied the sea and who depend on the sea as the major source for their food and for their war against the other, uh, the other countries. And they reached Spain and Italy uh, and they controlled the, the whole area of the Mediterranean Sea. After that, we took the, um, after the Phoenician Empire, we have the Hittites Empire. And the Hittites Empire also existed after the Phoenician uh, Empire. We said those people, they were people of war and they were fearless people and they have a new weapon of iron. And then after the Hittites came what came the Assyrians. And we said the Assyrian people, they extended their empire to have even Turkey and some part of Iran. And it was bigger than the Phoenician and the Hittites empire. But those people in the same time, they were cruel people and very hard people. And everybody hated because they used to torture people. And then after that, we took the Persian empire. And we said that the Persian empire, uh, uh, where it stayed, stayed in Iran and Iraq and all the countries beside it. And we said that Persian Empire was one of the greatest and most of, one of the most powerful uh, empires that uh, ever came through history. In this empire, they had the royal road and they invented also uh, some cultivation of spinach and uh, ice cream and bricks. These are the Persian. Now we are going to have some succeeding empires who are, uh, came after each other. And these empires that we are going to learn today, those empires come e after each other. So let's study it one by one. Open the page 117, please, in your books. And let's go to have first um, the Seleucid Empire. The first empire we have is the Seleucid Empire. The Seleucid Ms. Empire... What? 117. Page 117 in the student's book. Smith, will this be in the test tomorrow? No, no, no. The test is something else. Maybe in the test okay. no, but not tomorrow. Okay, for the Seleucid Empire, it was an empire that came to the eastern remaining part of the Macedonian Empire. How this empire came? This is the Seleucid Empire. Seleucid Empire, actually, we said before that there was a great man through history. His name is Alexander the Great. Alexander al Azim. This Alexander, I said to you that he owned the whole earth. Yani, the whole earth was under his control and under his rule. Every place he went for, he made an, uh, a city in every country, and he called that city Alexandria. One of these cities that exist until now is Alexandria in Egypt. It still exists until now. But every place he went for, he made in each country uh, a city under his name, Alexandria and he owned the whole world. But unfortunately for that king, he died at a young age. He died at only 33 years old. He didn't last for a long time. Some people, they said that he- what? This is so little. Yeah. Some people, they said he was poisoned by someone. So that's why he died very early. Anyway, when he died very early, he left after him the ruling of the whole world. And it was very hard to control his rule by only one person. And since he died in a very young age, he didn't marry. And he didn't have a wife, he didn't have children, he didn't have an heir. What does it mean heir? Yani a son or a daughter. He doesn't have anybody to take his, uh, his place after he died. So now the people, they have to manage. How? They have to divide his whole uh, his whole kingdom among them. Yes. Does he have a brother, sister? 
No, unfortunately, because he was only a child. And when he married, he uh, when he grew up, he didn't have a children oh. for his own. So it was uh, only by his life. When he died, he left all of his uh, kingdom behind him. And the people have to manage to divide this kingdom between them. So each person, he will take a place and rule it. Because, of course, uh, during history, no other character came like Alexander. Alexander was a unique character. He can rule the whole places with his own and under his control and even extend to come and to take other uh, countries. But no other man during history could make what Alexander made. Okay, so it was very hard for any person to rule all of these countries by one person. Aslan, even if you are in one country and you want to rule, to rule the country, for example, let's take Saudi Arabia. This is Arabia, Saudi Arabia right here. This is Saudi Arabia. It's a big country, as you can see from here to here. This is Saudi Arabia. But if we have the king in Riyadh, if he wants to, to rule the whole kingdom, he has to put a prince in Jeddah, prince in Khobar, prince in Dammam, prince in Ar'ar, prince in Najran. Why, Taib, he put princes here and there? because he wants to control the whole area. If he don't put a person under his control in here, then maybe this place will have a revolution. Maybe this place will have a revolution. And after a while, we will not have the same country. We, we will be divided. So this is what happened. When you have a big country, you have to control it. So imagine if you don't have only one country, you have plenty of countries, all of them under your control. So what you are going to do, you have to divide it and you have to take some part of it for your own. And when you rule it as a king, you have to put a prince here, a prince there, a prince there, a prince there, just to control it all, the whole areas for you. So when Alexander died, they have to divide his kingdom. And they said, we, he, we can't have the same kingdom as it was. We have to change it. So when they divide it, a person came. His name is Seleucus. Seleucus was a friend of Alexander. And he divided, he took the richest area. He took Iran, he took Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Palestine, and Jordan, and Turkey. And he took also uh, uh, Italy, and also he took uh, Greece, and uh, Macedonia, all of these areas from here to here. Even he took uh, some parts of uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, all of these areas yeah. under one control. His name is what? Seleucus. Seleucus. I will show you his face now. This, why did he take it? He take it because he has to rule it. Because Alexander died. They can't leave it without a king. So they divided his, his kingdom for kings. Every king took a part, like a cake. They divided and everybody took a part. The biggest part, it was under Seleucus, the friend of Alexander. He okay. ruled it right now. And from Seleucus, they call him Seleucus the Great. From Seleucus, he have a density. What does it mean density? I will show you. Density, it means what? It means the family of that person. Yani, the children of this person, the grandchildren, the grandchildren, the grandchildren, they will come one after one after one to rule the to, to rule the country and to be kings. We call it the density. So if you have a big, big family goes for centuries, we call it din dynasty, which is Sulala, which means Sulala of Seleucus. Now we have the dynasty, the, the dynasty of Seleucus. From Seleucus, it goes at least 200 years 200 years okay the Seleucid empire was more like uh, a dynasty a dynasty is a sequence of powerful leaders in the same family it was centered in the east asia and it uh, comprised anatolia Mes uh, mesopotamia pakistan and other region the people of the empire were greatly affected by the greek so if we go back through history to those people in um uh, Seleucid, Seleucid uh, Empire, they were affected by the Greek. And if you go there, you will find that their clothes, the way of speaking, they are like the Greek people. Unfortunately, Alexander the Great died at the age of 33. And after his death, the empire was ruled by several general 
a general since Alexander had no heir, a blood relative to inherit or take his own uh, empire. So what does it mean, heir? Heir, it means, as I told you, a blood relative, maybe a son, a daughter, a brother, a sister. Unfortunately, Alexander didn't have any heir. Yani he didn't have a family after him because whole, his whole family died when he was alive and he himself died alone, uh, died, uh, died so young. The Seleucid Empire was succeeded by the Parathian Empire. Yani it came after the Parathian Empire. The Parthian Empire uh, it grew to be an empire with a strong political influence in ancient Iran. So now after the uh, Seleucid Empire finished, there come what? Another empire. This empire, we call it the Parthian Empire. This is the Parthian Empire. It came after what? After the Seleucid Empire. Where they take Tayyip, they took the whole area of the Persian Empire. Yani they took Iran, Iraq, and some part of Turkey. And we call the Parthians. The Parthian Empire revived the, great, the greatness of the um, a command empire and counterbalance Rome's uh, hegemony in the West. Uh, it took Iran, Iraq, Turkey, Armenia, Georgia, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Pakistan, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine, and there is no Israel, of course. There's Jordan and Palestine. Okay, this is the Parthian Empire. The empire soon grew to become a center of trade and commerce. Now, this empire, the Parthian Empire, what is the main thing about it? It was uh, an empire of a trade. What does it mean, trade? Yani selling and buying goods. Tijara. So, trade, selling, and buying goods. So, Parthian Empire was one of the centers of the trade. Why? Because it took a very unique and, um, and uh, critical places like Syria, Iran, Turkey, all of this, those places, uh, they were full of the traders and the merchants around history. So when they took it, it became the center of a trade. Uh, the Parthian adopted the art, architecture, and religious beliefs of the Persian culture. What is unique about this uh, empire also is they adopted art, architecture, And the religious beliefs of the Persian Empire. The religious belief we said of the Persian Empire that they worship the sun. So they worship the same sun. This is uh, in your books. This is a pay. Um, this is a status and and there uh, from the Parthian Empire. It shows what it shows uh, lions that protecting a place. Uh, these are some of the coins that they used. The money used by the Parthians was the drachma. Drachma. The money that they used to uh, to buy and sell it was a drachma. Uh, and then after that, the Parthians were famous for their wonderful horses in battle. They adopted the trick of uh, pretending to flee or run away and then turn back to attack their enemies. They also used some of the techniques in war. They depended on the what? They depended on the horses so much, and their, their horses were one of the best around all uh, empires. They adopted one strategy of uh, working and uh, battling with the others, which is they will uh, flee and they will run with their horses as they are running from the enemy. And when the enemy comes after them, they will come back and turn back and kill the enemy after they surround them. So this is one of the things that they've done. But the Sassanian, in the page 119, the Sassanian Empire. Sassanian Empire, it came after the Parthian Empire. Yani they both in Iran. We have Persia, and then after that we have uh, Parthian, and then we have Sassanian. Sassanian Empire, طيب, they came after the Parthian Empire. They fought many battles against the Romans, most which ended in disaster. The main reason behind their battles was an attempt to restore and expand the Persian Empire. Now, what happened after the Parthian Empire? 
there was another empire in the north, in Italy and in the north of Europe, another big empire. This empire, it's called Roman Empire. And Roman Empire, it grew to become a very important and big empire. Now, they both want to extend their power and their authority around all the areas around them. The more countries you take, the more strong you are and the strongest you are. Then the Roman Empire wanted to take some parts of the Persia, uh, of the Sasanis uh, Empire, and the Sasanians want to extend their empire to take some of the Romans. So they will always have what have fight and war against each other. And these wars usually they ended up with disasters for both parties, for this part and for this part. The leader of the Sassanid uh, organized, uh, organized a very strong government based on the tax system. A tax is a charge of money that people have to pay in return for services provided by the government. So one of the first empires to make taxes on people was what? Was the Sassanid Empire. Sassanid Empire, the emperor in there, he made a system. This system, what? It depends on the people, on taking taxes of people. Yeah, and if I want to, uh, to have more money, then I would ask people to pay tax. What does it mean, tax? Tax, it's a money that you have to pay for the government. In exchange of what, Tayyip? Why you give this money? You give it for uh, a service the government provide for you. For example, right now we are paying this uh, tax, 15%. If you buy anything, you will have dariba, which is a tax, we call it. So this tax, it means that you have to pay for the government. This money goes for the government, not for the owner or for the people. No, it goes for the government. And through this tax that they collect from people, the government will become wealthier and more strong, okay? This is why they collect it from people. The first empire to do that through history was the, Sas the uh, Sasanian Empire. The Sassanids uh, work, worked on founding new towns, constructing new buildings, and bringing many books from India to be translated. The Sassanids were the last pre-Islamic empire. The Sasanian Empire was the, the last empire before Islam. It was the last empire before Islam. We said that many countries con controlled the area of the Arabian areas, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, uh, Jordan, Palestine, Iran, all of those uh, areas in the Arabian areas, they were controlled by different uh, empires. The Sasanian empire was the last one to control this area. After this uh, empire, it came Islam. When Islam came, of course, now, we are going to establish our new Islamic, new Islamic empires. So instead of having different empires like Macedonian Empire, uh, Sasanian Empire, Hittites Empire, no, we would have Islamic Empire. What does it mean? It means that we will unite the whole countries and the whole areas to be under Islam. All of us worship the same God and we speak the language of Arabic, and we will be one whole country. This country or this empire, we will learn, inshallah, even when you complete, um, in this semester, you will not take it, actually. You will take it in grade six. When you go in grade six, you will know some of these empires of Islam. We have uh, a um, uh, um, uh, Muyad uh, uh, empire, and we have Abbasid empire. We have also Uthmanis. Uh, empire. All of these empires came to rule the Islamic world. These are some of the pictures. Let me show you this one also. So this is the Sassanid Empire. These are some of the coins that left behind those people who ruled that uh, that era. You have the here uh, the shape of the kings. They actually they used to crave it on the coins. So when the people go with the coins, they have the shape of the king on it. OK, these are some of the people who were uh, ruling the Sassanid Empire. It stayed for more than 100 years. 
those are some of the ruins after them. This is one of the ruins, the buildings that they had. We said that this empire, they cared so much of establishing buildings and uh, construction and to have a, a big cities and a big towns for, uh, for people to live. And you know that when they take the tax, they have so much money, so they spend it to make what? To make buildings and to make also construction for people. Those are some of the vases and some of the things that they have. This is um, a fort that has remained after them. They used to use horses in wars. And this is also some of the ruins after them. This and this and this. Okay, girls, these are for the information that we took today. We took the Seleucid Empire and we said it, yeah, it came after Alexander the Great and then Parthian Empire who came after Persian Empire. And after the Parthian, we have the Sasanian Empire. Do you have any question for today? Ah, girls, what do you think about today? Today's lesson, is it nice? That's great. Do you have any question, my girls? No, thank you. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, I have to say something.